Hi guys, I'm Exit Chaos and welcome to another little um, airport CEO series. Um, this series is going to be something completely different. Um, I know the other one is still going on. You know, in this episode, uh, or in, in this series and in this episode, I'm going to give you some tips on uh, on certain things and aspects of the game. So this is a sandbox, mo sandbox mode. So, <clears throat> and in today's episode, we are going to talk about... Um, basic layout. So I am um, just gonna unlock these areas. I'm in sandbox. So yes, I'm, I'm spending a lot of money. So that is something that is is okay for now because I'm trying to uh, explain to you how uh, a layout can, can kind of work. And there's a few things that you need to consider. So first things first is where do you put your terminal building? Okay, there are a or, or I've seen different kind of philosophies. I've seen terminals on the side. I've seen terminals in the middle. I've seen on the other side. I've seen, you know, split terminals, two buildings, those kind of things. Um, but really, I think most efficiently can typically be in the middle or on the side. And then it, it just depends on how you lay it out. But, but so I don't necessarily start with that. I start with where am I going to put my runways? So um, let's quickly think about things a little bit. So runways have a direction i know in the game it has a direction in reality it is more uh, based on the wind than generally the direction but in this game it's got a direction so you can flip it around do, 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 flip it around so the planes will land from uh, will land from the top of the screen to the bottom and they will take off from the top of the screen to the bottom if i do this it's the other way around they will land from the bottom of the screen to the top um, and of course the same way for hiking off so what I like to do is actually distribute traffic a little bit allow, uh, around the airport so if we're gonna say we're gonna go with three three runways or something like that we'll do one on the one side um, I would do one on the one side I would do one oops I've rotated the entire thing let me just gonna orientate myself a little bit I'll do one over here, I'll do one up here somewhere, and I will do one over there. And I will always kind of get them in the similar direction. So we'll go from the bottom of the screen to the top, from the right of the screen to the left, and from the bot uh, top of the screen to the bottom, so that you always have kind of a one-way flow of traffic on your site. That's kind of what I what I intend to do. Um, but that is just kind of the general view of it. Okay, so um, if we're talking building though, I prefer to kind of get it in the middle. So in order to get it in the middle, you kind of need to just kind of see what is roughly the middle of it. So if we do a little something like that, you can say it's 174. So <clears throat> that means just like under 90. So something like that, 87 is about the middle. Okay, so if that spot there is about the middle, okay, um, and probably need something similar on this side, but I think that's a, it's roughly about right. So what we'll do is we'll just do something that's a reasonable size. And you need to bear in mind that you want to do um, check-in, you want to do baggage claim, you want to do security, all of this kind of things fairly central, okay. So let's say that is kind of the middle there. Um, so what we're looking for is something like maybe a 25, um, maybe something like that, okay, as, as a half of it, right, that's half of it, the other half I'm going to put on this side, so let's, uh, let's get rid of what I've done over here, so, and then I haven't spotted that there's actually a planning tool, but, no, 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 oh, hang on, this is the, this is the, this is it, I've, I've done this wrong. Uh, we need something like that okay and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place another half kind of on this side not sure if that okay so see something like that then of course uh, another little tip is if you're building um, areas like this please just go and demolish the the area that you don't need like like so the, the walls and stuff so there you go that's kind of gonna be our terminal building okay something like that um, again, this is not a very efficient area and it's probably here. You know, I mean, it's obviously here because of you only had one little quarter, but if you're filling up the screen, it's probably best to kind of move your, your little roads over here, little roads, um, uh, kind of as close to the bottom as possible. Hang on, before we do that, maybe let's kind of pick ourselves in the middle over here again. Okay, so if we say something like that, 
okay as as kind of the middle okay something like that and then what we'll do is we'll uh, kind of run this up here oh, of course uh, a little something like that we'll get rid of uh, too much of this okay so you need you need to try and be kind of as efficient as possible and I like to do so when you're getting uh, getting uh, your um, <laughs> when you're getting your your area right you kind of want to do uh, or your your kind of drop off area right you want to give yourself um, a few places where people can be dropped off right so you'll do a little something like this like that um, you'll give yourself a bit of room here kind of maybe something like that uh, like the actually maybe an extra one something like that that's too much that's a wide wide road there um, you probably need a little bit something something like this something like this I'm not, I'm, I'll, I'll show you how it looks like um, in a while I'm just kind of giving you um, the feel for <clears throat> excuse me the feel for uh, for how this will kind of work uh, okay yeah something like this something like that uh, no that's that's not enough uh, anyway that's that's kind of the the idea so what you'll do is um, and I didn't plan this out properly what you'll do is you will go here and you would say add yourself some bus stations like so you will add yourself some of these carports okay a little bit like this uh, try not to do too much. Uh, I'll try and keep it tidier than, than I have. Um, I also tend to move my uh, my, my contractor drop-off spot and my delivery area here as well. Um, though you can get it clogged, so it might even be worth putting it to the one side. But anyway, this gives you a fair bit of room over here and that can load up this area quite nicely. Okay, so that is kind of how you would start mainly on a sandbox mode. You can you can do something a little bit smaller um, if you if you're playing with real cash. Well, not real cash with with if you're playing a non sandbox and you're actually having to make this airport work financially. You start off with something smaller. What I would typically do is I would potentially um, run it up here, maybe start something over here somewhere. Um, and well, pretty much as I've done in my current series. So, um, so yes, have a look at that. The multi-floor international airport as well. Okay, so now let's quickly get out of this, and I'll show you something that is already kind of been set up. Okay, I'm back. So we've got a little bit of uh, airport set up, and this is effectively the, the the kind of layout that I was talking about. So you can extend it, you can make these longer, you can all these kind of things. But basically, what you want to do is you want to make sure that there are plenty of little little routes where your buses can come in, drop off some people and they can walk up to the terminal building. So if we go back down here, you will see that is exactly what I did. I put a little road in here into the middle into a little square terminal building. OK, and now we'll talk a little bit about terminal layout. So once we get the building up and running, the next thing that we need to do is the various elements. First things first is check in. So if we look um, at this and with the multi-floor um, or the yeah the multi-floor um, uh, capabilities in the uh, Alpha 32 build and then probably beyond that, um, you have the ability to split this floor and that makes your layout so much more efficient. So what you as you can see over here on the ground floor where people are being dropped off and I've also got some subways over here. Be very careful of those if you are playing with real cash. They cost a lot to manage and run. Okay, so what I've done then is I've got my little baggage claim area over here. Not so little, but it's okay. Baggage claim area on the ground floor. Uh, there's some kind of security exits over here. Um, and there's staff security access points over here. Um, over here, but basically this is baggage claim. So I've got a little bit of a staff zone here. I've got some bathrooms. I've got um, a, a little bit of a restaurant and a shop that doesn't have a, a contract at the moment. And really my baggage carousels. Okay. Or baggage claim areas. Okay. So then I've got these little nice escalators over here and they go upstairs to the check-in area. Okay. So check-in is one of those critical things at any airport. So leave yourself enough room and this is where the um 
the multi-floor thing is just gets so in, ha in handy because initially when I started playing this one as a smaller airport just this little square here I had one side for baggage claim and one side for check-in but then as I needed more and more and more check-in and more and more and more security I moved that upstairs so I moved that upstairs and I've got plenty of room and as you can see I'm not even using all of it but I've still got plenty of room available so I've just made sure that I've used the upper floor where people are coming in through the check-in okay uh, as soon as they're playing uh, the chicken is they check in uh, they then go into security and then they go to their plane stands and I'll show you a little bit of that in a minute but really that is the thing a big piece of this and we'll cover this in a subsequent video is the baggage handling system but you can see that there is a pretty decent baggage handling system set up over here with some uh, with some uh, conveyors running downstairs over there running downstairs from there and I'll show you the basement next time um, as a bit of a addition to the um, to the layout uh, um, I'll just show you what is the kind of layout of the airport so as you remember as I told you in the um, in the uh, in the in the in the first uh, as, I was, as I was starting this um, I said about the three runways do, do, do one there one there and one there okay uh, and a lot and a lot and a lot of taxiways and we'll cover that in another episode as well uh, of some tips and and then and then that kind of gives you a lot of room to put stands so I've got this little H build for the terminal okay it's fairly narrow means there's a lot of room I can fill up all of this area with stands all of this area can be filled up with stands i effectively take this and i just extend it even further so you my uh, smaller stands my medium stands and i can just extend it all ever so much and because i've got the runways all around i can feed all the stands from different runways basically um, so it's all pretty good so yes guys so that is a basic terminal setup i'll just show you from the the top level as well so basically through security people are going to the extremities of the airport to where their stands are so they'll come make their way over this way um, and then they'll come to their various stands you can also put some kind of staff rooms uh, it's important important pro tip have some staff rooms close to your gates to be able to have um, ramp agents get get there quickly um, so need some bathrooms there of course and you can um, put in a lot of these little um, shops and things all the way through not too much though uh, is what I have found so yeah guys if you have enjoyed this uh, quick tips on uh, on how to lay out a terminal a basic terminal building with its access roads uh, yeah hit that like button tell me what you think down below is this the kind of way you lay it out is this the way you see airports in reality have you played around with different kinds of layouts with these things I would love to hear from you down below in the comments uh, and ask some questions if there's something that you would like to know my opinion on on how I would have done it uh, yeah tell me down below in the comments as well as this is a new little tips series I would also appreciate very much if you would hit that like button and subscribe and so uh, I will uh, make a few more of these and show just a few other things like basic stand layouts, basic um, taxiway um, layouts, basic baggage handling, all those kind of things. Just a few of those little pieces that people tend to do at an airport. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.